his life. Um, I believe that he's a wonderful servant of God. Can we give it up to Jesus for the servant of God? In the same respect, we salute all pastoral assistants, pastors, and leaders in the church. Please can we clap for our leaders and pastors? Hallelujah. Amen. And we bring you greetings in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Um, tonight, God has given us a very powerful opportunity. Because the, the theme is a very important theme to every human being. Um, a dear young couple of mine who said, Young come one seven, no, a dear, say, We are in power in here. Why am I saying that? In the creation of man, Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 28. Man was created spirit. Verse 2, Bible says, So God molded man or formed the body of man from death. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, 7, After he formed man, he breathed into man and man became a living soul. Naturally, say, say we are nim pa. Say ya nyangu pongo wono. Esifane say, you were created spirit and you were put into a body. So if you live life only from the physical, you will get only fifty percent of what life can give you. You must understand that life is both spiritual and physical. So it means that obviously, if life say Abrabo, Nyanku Pon Shisha Abrabo say Yewo Hunu Mafa Yewo Diye Hunu Mafa Noa, what it means is that you will find out that without the supernatural, you have a limit in life. There is as much as you can do, except by the supernatural. That means that without the supernatural. You can't get a hundred percent result in life. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is why in the nature of man, even without you realizing it, so when the crown bounce, at every given time, you are worshiping something. Even if you are aware or not, there is something you are worshipping. That is why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. That means that, so back kind Genesis chapter 31 and 32 now, when they made the golden calf, they directed their view from Sinai to the calf. All this simply means that, a dear would we need air shallow many times becomes your God. So he said, woe unto him that puts his trust in man. It means you are believing God to travel outside. You are believing God to pay your fees, But you have taken your gaze from God and you are looking at a man. You are worshipping the man. That's why I'm saying that you are unconsciously worshipping things without realizing it. Praise the Lord. I'll even show you one very interesting thing we do in our house. We arrange our chairs for a worship service for something called television. You arrange your chairs to face something you come to look at. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> and because of that, some people are not even in church tonight. I, I want to tell you something. So, it is a very interesting operation. Unconsciously, you are always worshipping something. That's why I like what David said. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From when shall my help come from? Now, what kind of theme scripture now? Acts chapter 12 now. We will say, uh, in Acts 12, you know, you have a chief, James. Now, James, we know, he was the brother of um, John the Beloved. Um, the brother of John the Beloved. In fact, according to scripture, he is the first apostle to die. James was the first apostle to die. Do you know why? In Acts, in 
Matthew chapter 20. Or my neighbor, Jesus, or how catch Jesus say, me ba James ni John we, aye aye Zebedee and Kola ano. I say, eh, ebe yanka, e wa wa him ye mono. Mo amontsa wunse ni pa ni wunse bim kumoso. Na Jesus catch her one say, eh, say, umbet mi ano wunse kru we ya me num dia. Na Oma Mesa Kai, how do you call it? He was in a rush and said that we, he, they can drink the cup. And Jesus said that, well, they will drink the cup all right. But whether they will stay on the left and right, I cannot tell. I will show you a very interesting mystery. Remember that, and when Jesus, he entered the place called Gethsemane. No, Gethsemane, no, Bible say, Okotui, Ebisan Yankupon say, only sir, crew way in friendly chain. Not just a crew one, not yes, who catch a zebedi, a geno, a crew, a yedu, a yo, a crew. It's a cup of death. Hallelujah. So the cup is a cup of death. But Jesus said, whether it will be on the left or right, I cannot tell. But if you look at it very well, the right hand of the Lord is power, the right hand of the Lord is blessing. So these two boys, James and John, interestingly, were the first and the last apostles to die. The first apostle to die was James, left. The last apostle to die was John, right. Somebody get what I'm saying? So be careful what you ask God. I want the cup. I want the miracle. You have to ask what that cup means. Apparently, the cup was a death sentence. Hallelujah. But what am I trying to bring your mind to? In James, the Bible says, Herod had finished killing James. Verse 2. And the Jews were excited. They were happy at what he had done. And after it, he saw that it pleased. Now, if you are confused about this, the one who wrote the book of James is the brother of Jesus. Jesus' half-brother is the author of James, the book of James. So this James is the brother of John, the apostle, the beloved. All right. So he says that when they killed this James, the brother of John, the apostle, he saw that the Jews were excited. So he came for Peter. But when he came for Peter, something happened. The Bible says when they came for James, the church entered a certain season in Acts chapter 12 verse 5 the Bible says as soon as they came for Peter Peter provoked the church to make prayer without season he activated a 24 hour prayer chain because they had come for Peter I'm going to say something very important today as we start I'll start on different things that provokes the supernatural but the first thing I want to talk about today is the power of prayer. Say the power of prayer. One of the things you should fear in your life the most is not um, the absence of money. It's not the absence of um, 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 good health. It is the absence of the desire to pray. Say, uh, the lack of prayer is a higher problem than the health crisis you are facing please listen to what I'm saying very well so what is happening now is this that <laughs> when they came for Peter and kept him in prison he said prayer was made by the church without ceasing unto God for him. And when that prayer was now made, the Bible said that angels were released for Peter. Now listen to this. In the same scripture, John chapter 18, yeah, but Jesus, now yeah, Jesus, you know, and when I say I am, you know, Bible said, when I bet you know, I say, I say, I told him. But when they fell down and arose again, Peter pulled out a sword and went to try to cut the servants of the high priest's ear. 
In fact, he was cutting the head and he swept and he hit the ear. And when it happened like that, Jesus said, what have you done? Don't you know, listen to the language, that I have legions of angels at my disposal. Now, I want you to listen to the language well. But the fact that the angels were at his disposal did not mean the angels were going to work. Oh. Why did Jesus say, I have angels at my disposal? But why aren't the angels working? Because he has not prayed for the angels to come. So in the same respect, why did James die? And Peter was saved. When James was arrested, the church thought that James is anointed. He is one of the three that saw the transfiguration. So if we don't pray for him, cry now. He is one of the three that does prayer all night with Jesus Christ. God will keep him. But God couldn't keep him. Hey. But when it got to Peter, the difference is not partiality on God's side. The difference is in the church. They realize if they don't pray for this one too, they will lose somebody. So your problem is not God is impartial. You have been silent about the situation. You are not praying. And can I tell you something? Why me? It's not prayer. Lord, what is going on is not prayer. It's inquiry. You're asking questions. Because he said, in this same manner you shall pray. You shall ask whatsoever you ask in my name. So anything that does not add in Jesus' name to it. You are complaining. You are asking questions. He will give you answers. But when you get the answers, use it to pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why I like that old song. It says, Empire Boy and Yamiadro, if you don't pray, God cannot act. Now, let me be a little technical. I'll try and see if I can translate it in the cheap. I began to look into the word prayer and understand what Jesus was saying when he was talking in John chapter 14, 15, and 16 about prayer. That there is coming a day you will not ask my father anything, but whatsoever you desire. If you believe, you will ask the Father in my name and it shall be done for you. It shall be done for you. Praise the Lord. In John 15, 7, he says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask me anything. Who has read that scripture before? And it shall be done for you. Who has read it before? One now kind of. Who has believed that before? Have you noticed you can't believe it again? Because we've asked everything, he didn't mind us. <laughs> a long time ago, in my short Christian life, I learned a lesson. God is always right. The fastest way to get answers is to agree God is always right. If you ever blame God, the culprit is running free. Excuse me to say, if a murderer murders somebody and you arrest the wrong person, another murder will happen. Have you watched all those detective movies? They catch the wrong person thinking he's the one. Then the next morning, the criminal is in prison, but somebody dies again. It means you've caught the wrong person. Can I shock you today? One of the greatest weapons of Satan is to cause you to accuse God, who is not the cause. Then the one who caused the problem is free to bring you another one. Because he makes you look at the wrong spice. But if you meet and say, this is the work of the devil. That's why I like what Matthew 13 said. An enemy has done this. That means the next time you wake up, you are looking for that enemy, not God. That's why a lot of Christians have disaster. Because whilst you are blaming God who didn't cause it, the corporate is bringing another problem. And you are not handling him. An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. Praise the Lord. Are you here with me? So how then does prayer provoke? Somebody say prayer provokes supernatural manifestations. Let's turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4. Young call Hebrews. Uh, 
Hebrews 2 verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we read together if we can on the board? Please, let's go. One, two. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Hallelujah. He said, God was what? Confirming the word with wonders and signs, diverse miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost. Say, gifts of the Holy Ghost. That means that I'm going to say something very interesting. In John 2, verse 11, he said, now way in century way now Jesus is a a a a wife came out of Galilee to manifest his glory. Now the word miracle here in the original text is this sign. Now signs are messages, wonders are inscriptions in the heavens, miracles are suspensions of natural law. So when the Bible says sign, it means you are like a signboard. In central nature, I say, who chair at the B? Young Kupon, ye be into the wash or yen central. So in central, in here for show. In the young Kupon, any BBIA on yen central. Do we get it? It's for a sign. Oh, hallelujah. Do you know the virgin birth was not a miracle? It was a sign. Isaiah 7 14. I will give you a sign, and a virgin will be with child. So it was not displaying power for fun. It was telling us a story. So every sign, when people fall down under the power, when you come for a service and God is healing back problem, back problem, back problem, God is healing eyesight. There is a message in the spirit that is telling you why the church is having eye problem. It's not for fun. Because he will always confirm his word with signs, and wonders and miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit. That means that every gift and anointing is to confirm what God has said. The moment we live there, that's where idolatry starts. And one of them some same as starting. And one of them some for me suit. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying come because we have left the place where we use prophecy as a sign. Hallelujah. It's a wrong statement. Why? They that are led by the Spirit, not a prophet. These are the sons of God. Well, I'm a prophet, so you can be happy or not happy. It's not our job to lead you. It's our job to confirm what you're confused about. That's a prophet's job in the new covenant. So in the new testament, when we are telling you things, there are things that you already sense is there. Or it's confused. So we are giving clarity. That's why when you follow the wrong posture. Some people can swallow your money. And you will buy blue, red, green oil. And you have become a ritualist. So I am watching Anoki Tebia. No one stands for one mark watch motor forest. No one stands for you to And you are cutting things. And you are sprinkling salt and ashes. And you have turned to ah, only high priest no. And so see Ebi and Ebi come to I'll show you a secret as a prophet. When I lay hands on you, it's probably because you are expecting a touch. 
because it came from the word but it could not hit your spirit so you needed a physical medium to receive it some people it's not enough so you have to use oil others it's not enough you have to use so if you read scripture there is something called the prayer of faith and the eating of communion their faith was not enough so they needed to eat something for them to believe they are healed but by whose stripes ye were even when Isaiah was prophesying it, he said it in present tense. Ye are. Before Jesus died. Oh, glory to Jesus. Are you here? Are you here? What am I trying to bring your mind to? The angels were around. They were ready to save James. But once the church does not pray, they can't do anything. Psalm 103 verse 20. Quickly. Psalm 103 verse 20. Let's see how angels operate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's read one together, one to go. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Natural son, you can't pass him now. I die your name. See, the unique I die a tree as command, and as I'm by boy, we give voice to his word, and the angels begin to act. So as long as you are silent, Psalm 32, the verse number 9, he said, I was silent and trouble was being stirred. Your silence causes trouble to be stirred. Psalm 32, the verse 9. Your silence. Your trouble is being stirred. I tell you something, child of God. The Bible also said in 2 Timothy chapter 1, you know, no, go to verse 2, sorry, verse 2 and 3. Now, verse 2 and 3. Let's find that scripture, please. Verse 2 and 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 2 and 3. Psalm 32, 2 and 3. Yeah, we find it there. So, yes, uh -huh, verse 3. So, the moment you are quiet, you are not saying anything. Uh -huh, verse 4. Once you are silent, something is being stirred. Trouble is being stirred. Trouble is being stirred. And situations are going some way that's not supposed to go now when you also read the scripture in 2 Timothy 1 verse 18 but say this child give I unto you Timothy my son that thou mighted war a good warfare according to the prophecies which has gone ahead of you so can I tell you child of God something as soon as you receive a prophetic word that God is delivering you from your family that is the season you start a fast it's not the season to say hallelujah is that no I give you this for 2 Timothy 1 verse 18 according to these prophecies you wage a what good warfare First Timothy sorry oh Holy Spirit help me First Timothy 1 18 no second sorry sorry Sorry, sorry. So, a good warfare. So, there is warfare that is good. First Timothy 1 18. There is warfare that is good. That means there is also warfare that is bad. There is also what? Warfare that is bad. Why am I saying what I'm saying? There is something interesting about Peter's story. And the situation that went on. Now, in the case of James, I believe personally that one of the reasons why God didn't stir the church up to pray for James was because of what the mother had done. We are ready for whatever cup. Number two, on the side of Peter, in John 21, Jesus was speaking to Peter and said, Simon, Simon, lovest thou me more than this? He said, Lord, I love you. Then he said, feed my sheep. Um, take care of my lamb. Now when he was end ending, he says, Simon, verily, verily, I say unto you, when you were young, you rise up, you go wherever you want to go. But a time is coming when you will be old and you will be led everywhere you want to go. So by the time Peter was entering prison, he had not reached the stage where the prophetic word that somebody has to lead him will be fulfilled. 
So it's not time for him to die. Hey, 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 hey. Do you understand? <laughs> because that's why Bible said, when even the angel came, he was fast asleep. Can you imagine you come to die and you are sleeping? To the point where the angel, Bible said, what for the born of Zoom? Peter Nyane, and so now still, I understand that here. I think that quite, what, when you are going for exam, interview, you can't sleep. Somebody is coming to lose his head and he is sleeping. Why? Jesus has told him, when you were young, you went wherever you go, but a day is coming. And as long as he's in prison, at the age he's at, he has not reached the stage where somebody leads him. So no matter how they say he will die, he is not going to die. It's only here one saying. But can I tell somebody something? Though Jesus said that in John 21, if the church didn't pray, that prophecy would look like a lie. That is why when they give you a prophetic word, God will use you. you can ask my people. Every time I receive a prophecy, I get worried. I'm not happy because I know more prophecy, more prayer. More prayer. More prayer. That is why it becomes the opposite after the prophetic word. You will be rich. That is why your life is contrary to what was said because it is a warfare you must wage. So after conferences like this, even if we don't call for revival Monday, you have to have a personal retreat and say, Lord, the things they told me. Can I show you something? Do you know when trouble comes? Trouble comes when you are tired of praying. Satan can't come when you are hot in prayer. He only comes when you are overwhelmed. You are tired. Life is caught. So you don't feel like praying. That's where Satan will touch your mother. He will touch your cousin. So you are so overwhelmed, you can't even start prayer. You are confused. No wonder the Bible says something very scary in Luke chapter 4. And Matthew chapter 4. When Jesus was tempted, he was too hot for Satan. It is written, Thou hast said, Thou shalt not worship no other God. It is said. So, Bible said, when Satan realized that he is not going to get Jesus, he left him for a while. And came at a time, Bible said, he entered Gethsemane, exceedingly sorrowful. When his emotion came alive, Satan came to tell Jesus, Don't die. Tell God you won't die again. Can you imagine the Son of Man came to die for the sins of the world? Then you are in the garden praying that you don't want to die again. What kind of faith is that? Do you know for the first time, Jesus nearly went against the will of God. So he said, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. So anytime Satan leaves you for a while, you should know he's going to come in the season your prayer life has gone down. When you don't feel like praying, when things are fine, he's coming. But can I announce to you, after killing Goliath, Goliath has signs. So the giant has children. You have killed Goliath. But Bible said in 2 Samuel 21, the sons of Goliath arose. One had six fingers, six legs. And after killing the sons, Bible said the brother of Goliath, he also came up. So you think you have won one battle? Life is warfare. Man ought always to pray and not to faint. You buy a BMW. Hallelujah. God has given me a car. Somebody wants you dead. Don't think it's an easy thing like that. Some of your friends that change is because when they knew you, they expected you to be saying yes, sir. That is how they have programmed their mind concerning your life. No wonder when someone started prophet, Saul started prophesying, they say, is Saul also a prophet? It means in their mind, this is a coward. He can't be anything in life. So the day you start prophesying, also the bang and coupon frail. So sometimes when people want to keep you in a certain level, they define you in that state. God wants to use Saul, sir. But Ananias is defining Saul. Be careful who you have defined. That God is redefining. He said he's a murderer. We couldn't back and come on no one so my friend. Or no one so my friend. We do for you, or no one may use some. We do for you, he's the same person I will use. But it's human nature. When we define you, 
nothing you do. Do you remember when he went to his own hometown? Is this not the child? Enya Mary Beni, Enya Kapinta Beni, Nyokita Su Su Tumi Aishan himself. It sounds we're trying to definition. Nothing can happen. So sometimes you are going far in life, but the definitions of people is the war you have to fight. If you don't lift your voice and pray, something will swallow your destiny. You can't joke. No, no, no. It's not joke. First Thessalonians 5 17. I love that scripture so much. It said, Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. Oh, yeah. For this, it, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> the will of God concerning your life. Now, what he was saying here was this. The verse 19 says, Quench not the spirit. 20 said, Despise not prophesying. Now, what he was telling you is this. Uh, Cast an omni trust, huh? Pray without ceasing. Are you quoting the BIA? A very interesting cousin. A great cousin. Now, great cousin, no normal war. A deep year war, my dream, ma. On the trust, huh? Be bit say, poor cousin, be strong in the law and the power of his might. So, a cousin will be strong in the law. Cassa strong, bro. A year, dear Zeus, a year, Greek for Bosom Penino. A day, and in Kola, or more Mutumi, be bit say, Hercules. Achilles and here they are so that they have supernatural power to do superhuman things. So that word strong in the Greek and dunamo is that word that was used in that time. Now Hano, I can't pray without season. Cassan it say, Paul say, Bombay to say, Obia, when you hacking cough. Cough guy can't say what good. How do you say coughing? Oh boy. I said, from piety so be a all power. Not just say empire, but not poor kind. Of. One cousin pray without ceasing mean that you go to work, you come in the night. No, no, no. He's saying pray without ceasing. And the picture is pray as if you are sneezing or having a cough. It means the prayer life of a believer should not be necessarily a planned one. It's a type where when you hear bad news and you see something ta -ta 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 -ta, you didn't plan. The way you say, Etienne, excuse me, that's how you should do it. Pray without ceasing. Spontaneous outburst of the Holy Ghost. When you get home tonight, you can't sleep. It means pray. You didn't plan. Pray. Pray. It doesn't matter. Pray. <laughs> pray. Luke 3 21. Bible says, John the Baptist and Reson. But when Jesus was entering the Jordan, Luke 3.21, only Jesus Christ experienced something. Look what the Bible says. Now the people were being baptized and it came to pass. Jesus also being baptized, his heavens were open. That means all of us can be in this auditorium. But whoever is praying whilst I'm preaching, heavens are being open. This is a no, I'm serious. We can come for a revival. Somebody will get testimony, you will get one. What was your heart whilst the message was coming? Wow, everybody was being baptized. Only Jesus was praying. So God opened his heavens. Because in Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 23. Look at that one. Deuteronomy 28, 23. I want you to see it, please. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba. Let's read together. I want to go. Oh, I don't, I don't hear you. Please say it well. That means a child of God, you can be married to a woman and her heaven is open. And though you are one flesh, your heaven is closed. He said, Thy heaven. As soon now, who would this alone? So we can be in church and we can be believers and we are under an open heaven regime. But your personal heaven might be closed because you are not praying. Oh, Mamba. Your prayer life is low, so your heaven is closed. Why is it that somebody tries to do good to you? They promise, but they never fulfill it. Lack of prayer. It's like a car. When you are bulldozing, who put down here? Bulldoze and it's me, but I will say, at the journey to me, chin now. Me, 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 tow track. Tow track, nature, so be too me, you know. And those who send their one. Into a nube push you. Baby, I'm a KBR. To me, be to me, push you. I'm a co that's what prayer does. So somebody can prophesy and bless your life. Somebody says, I will take you to America. I will give you a job. If you don't pray, it will end at a promise. Because there is no power to manifest what was promised. Oh, Ebony, by body, I'm in Because look, 
the way we pray as Christians is not how Jesus prayed though let's go to Hebrews chapter 5 oh your heavens must open and the land under you must break forth by verse 7 it must not be iron again when you plant it must grow <laughs> look what he says when you Jesus who I said that who in the days of his flesh offered that prayers and supplications with what strong Bible says when he went into the garden he left them a stone throw away but they were able to hear what Jesus was saying father if it is possible take this cup away how was Jesus praying for sleeping men to hear what he was saying yes one more pipe and amen no more Lord we give you praise Lord we thank you very much says it can pipe on his own child then you see somebody who say, Hey, Father, bless them, okay? Say, No, Mumia, we know Mumpa and Fifi, two of me, but this shop, she will name and one pie. You are looking at Adam and Prabhu, a vampire, say, I'm telling you, God must see five million dollars in your account. And when it comes to prayer time, you take your towel and pray like a bushman. Because if that prayer brought you five million dollars, it is that prayer, that type of prayer that will sustain the blessing. You were praying, you married, and you stop praying. Kai, 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 you lose the marriage. Whatever prayer brought, it is prayer that will maintain. You pray, then somebody says, I've seen your CV, bring it to me. Keep praying. Even after you get the job, keep praying. Because your promotion is in the prayers. You stop praying, that's why. Man ought always to pray and not faint. It means it is inversely proportional. A mass kasebi, a kontebu kasa chrese. So we koshwa we bafom. So if you are not praying, you are fainting. So if you are not praying, you will faint. Why? James five thirteen says, "Who is afflicted?" Why the one here and we are here? Or since the pakrono, James five thirteen, embompa. Who is afflicted? Let him pray. Don't joke if your prayer life. Satan will steal it first. I like what the Bible says in Acts 12 5. And I'll, I'll read it for you. Go there. Acts 12 5. Look at the language that was used. The church didn't pray. They made prayer. Now that word implies that they were not finding prayer easily accessible. Now, I will walk up Now, a be a bomoso. News be on my test, say, you cheap it up. Is it going to work? Is it going not to work? I am she share me at the other day. But Bible say, they made prayer without ceasing. They found a way. They found a way beyond their schedule to still pray in spite of how they felt. When you don't feel like praying, pray harder. Oh, one powerful ancient Christian, Robert McChain said, the first thing a believer must do is to pray. And the second is to pray more. And the third is to pray most. So at every level, you are increasing the prayer gears. First thing is pray. Benjamin Franklin said, I have too many things to do. So I spent my first three hours, American president, in prayer. He said, I have so much to do in a day. So I need to start the day with three hours of prayer so that I'll do well. Was that not the method of Jesus? A great while before daybreak, he went to pray. That is why when he met men, in six hours, he knew what to say. He knew how to heal. He knew the wisdom. Your confusion is the absence of prayer. Because I told you, if your body and your spirit makes you a man, you cannot feed your body six square hot meals a day and your spirit one cold snack a week. That is only Sunday. Let's lift up our voice and pray for our week. And you don't even pray with intention. You pray, thank you Jesus, this week is blessed. It's a snack for a week. No wonder your spirit is weak show you one last scripture 
Proverbs 18, the verse number 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities. Proverbs 18, 14. Go there quickly. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The day I found this, it changed a lot of things in my life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But a wounded spirit who can bear. Can we read together one to go? The spirit of a man who sustain his infirmity. But a wounded spirit who can bear. Note the scripture for the rest of your life. Can we go to the amplified or the message translation? If you have it, let's see it. Amplified or message translation. Let's see what you have. Any one of them. Do you have amplified? You have it? No. Message. Do you have message? You don't have that one too. Okay, New Living Translation. NLT. NLT. Do you have it? Huh. Look at this. The human spirit. Look at this one. Can endure a sick body. But who can bear a crushed spirit? I wanted the other version. The message and the amplifier said that a strong spirit can make you endure pain and bodily sickness. But when your spirit is weak, you cave in. That means that everything happening in your natural is a product of the strength of your spirit. Even the sickness you face is determined by your spirit. So they are not praying, they are not fasting. But a strong spirit can sustain your body when it is sick. That is why I realized that when you look in the mirror and there is a mark on your forehead, you don't try to clean the mark in the mirror. You clean it on the substance. So your body is the mirror of your spirit. If you don't repair your spirit, this body will express what is inside your spirit. And you cannot deny the day of temptation. He said to Belteshazzar, you have been weighed, you have been measured, not his body, his spirit, and you have been found wanting. On some number, look at a scale, a cow measurement. When you are wanting in levels, he will come. He will come. He will come. A strong spirit. Who can be? Low, low barrier time. So two people might not be prayerful. They don't know God even. One is afraid to touch a child. I say, say, baby, see what? Oh, so do then say, can. But Obu also say, ah, now a woman, men are not even now. What to? Why you pay him not? What is asses of God? In total, it's not asses of God. No, do. I was not to mention it. Why? Something is strong in his spirit, so nothing external can affect him. A strong spirit is a high commodity. Money in your spirit is money that will keep long in your hand. A lot of us are not rich in our spirit, so when we get the money, after three years, we are broke again. We are promoted and at retirement we are back to square one. No, a strong spirit. How do you make your spirit strong? Spiritual exercises. Bodily exercise profit a little, but spiritual exercises. They are profitable in this life and the next one to come. You think that the lack of prayer is a, is for, is a problem. It's a problem. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. A strong spirit. Let an elderly woman stay in the house without coming to church. Her days will be shortened very soon. But let the woman, in spite of her age, and a Jubian no about revival. Not to come and say, Bones with the 80, and so still or but the primary by chapel. Why? Her spirit is strong. So because her spirit is strong, even if she gets stroke or the by chapel, so she'll be 90. And she'll keep stroke for 20 years. But you, the moment you got sick, you are tired of praying. You are done with God. So after three years of the problem, you are gone. A strong spirit. A strong spirit. Who can bear? Build your spirit up. And 
way to build it is prayer. Now, if the master prayed, Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. You remember that song? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended. Oh, prayer is the master Change the lesson from the book of James. He said Elijah was a man subject to like passions, but he prayed the more earnest. King James in a higher drink agra, but not bachelor said Elijah ni yen wo. The strong you strong, na Elijah so strong. A comedy ni pano na Elijah so comedy. A bobo ni ateti ni pa fembiyan. Bible says Elijah so famous, but he prayed the more earnestly. That means in the day you get to heaven. You have no excuse that somebody was a specialist prayer man. Everybody has same access to God. Lift your hands to heaven right now. Please lift your hands to heaven. Right now. Did somebody's hand that was lifted stop yours from being lifted? So somebody be a prayer warrior does not stop you from being a prayer master. Everybody has the same access to the heavens. The same access from the bishop to whoever you think is close to God. Same access. Nobody has better than the other. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. <laughs> prayer is the key. Prayer is the key.
your greatest journey in the spirit is your tomorrow must eclipse your yesterday you shouldn't say I used to there's a problem so it means you are not doing it again ah, I'm sorry I'm watching my bio and you know I mean, also, you I can drink one, three hours. Be anxious for nothing. But with prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God, not as Asumbia, any Wakuma Muchrese, lack of prayer. So, oh, vampire, oh, Christianity is having serpents and scorpions in your trousers, and you don't change your walking style. You are walking. They are biting you here. They are backstabbing you here. They are lying about you here. You are losing a job. You are losing a family member. But you have not changed how you pray to God. You still come to join God. All right. Why? With prayer and supplication, you have made your request known to God for the peace of God. It's keeping your heart. When people ask.
the Muslims, the reason why they are taking over Nigeria and the world, they don't joke with their prayer hour. No matter how much he's a manager of a bank, a, a chief deputy speaker, I used to work with parliamentarians. I'll be there. Some of the parliamentarians, whilst we are having um, special caucus meetings, they will excuse themselves and go and do Allah Wakuba. They'll go and do Juma and come back. The Christopher, you have to understand there is a spirit component to anything you want to attain. It's not only physical. Spirit. I saw a news caption recently on Joy FM. A boy from St. Francis Xavier. Brilliance as a math student. All of a sudden, he went to visit a friend. Whilst on campus, not just any man, he was school. But I don't say, oh, yeah, 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 be with hometown, yeah, go together. Oh, then I don't call her, a day, a year, be an end. I was telling some people recently, I don't know what is wrong with Ghanaians. We like funeral rice, we like food from a year, be an end, yeah, pen, and just here. Sanna, Sanna, no, no, guy, no, 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 Christopher, I call him dog. To a catcher, I had a man, I said, Muria Ramadan, Savo and Cheno make up. What book? Amalia, now you are telling your friends that I'll book seven. I am a man in the I catch no money. I am a man who is 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 a